We all know that gaming channels on YouTube can struggle a little bit to get off the ground. The space is so competitive. It almost doesn't matter what game you're playing. You're going to have to be patient and hope that YouTube promotes your content to the people who want to see it. But what if I told you there's another place where you're completely allowed to promote your content and in fact, it's encouraged. But before we get into it, I'm Dan stepping in for Alan today to lend some of my gaming advice. As someone who has their own gaming channel on the platform, I can attest to just how difficult it is, especially back when I was doing a variety of games. So now that you know a tiny bit about me, let's talk about that. Let's talk about doing a variety of games on a YouTube channel. Generally speaking, the advice I like to give is if you can pare down to one game, you oughta. Think of it this way. If you play a lot of different games on your channel and somebody subscribes because that week you're playing Call of Duty and then the next week you start playing Minecraft, that subscriber is gonna be a bit confused if not put off altogether. Where the lines get a little blurry though is when people tend to play a lot of different games because maybe they stick to the same genre, but they tend to play games that have a story, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And once it's over, it's over. This can be an acceptable way to have a gaming channel and yes, it can grow, but it can be a lot tougher. The more games you play, the more variety you have in general. So a lot of gamers like to figure out other places they can promote their content. They feel like they're providing value to this community, albeit maybe for a short time, and they wanna get it out there. So whether you play just one game or one type of game or a variety of a ton of different genres of game, I think this tip can help you. If you've played games on PC, you've probably heard of the platform called Steam. Steam is a marketplace for all of your games. When you purchase a game, it has a whole library where it stores them. But features that get, I think, often ignored would be ones involving the Steam community. For just about every game on Steam, you can find a community tab. And depending on how popular the game is, this place could be hustling and bustling. Take a stroll through just about any game in your library, check out their community tab, and there you'll find things like discussions, screenshots, and yes, even videos. So how exactly does this work? What are the rules? When can you do this? And can you do it right now with all of your content? And to answer that last question, yeah, absolutely. Here's how it works. What you need to do is go to your Steam profile page. From there, click videos on the right-hand side of the screen. Now, whether this is your first time or your 10th time doing this, what you'll have to do is link your YouTube account. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted with a page that has all of your videos on it and the option to check some boxes and add them. What I'm gonna do is select all four of my videos. And from there, you'll notice a box that appears on the right side that asks you to associate a game with the videos you just selected. This is the part that actually adds the videos to the game's community tab. Scroll down until you find the game that you've selected and then hit add video. Now, if you haven't made this connection already, it's important to note that you can only do this for games that you already own on Steam itself. These days I'm playing Minecraft, and since Minecraft is not on Steam, I cannot benefit from this. I can certainly post the videos without associating a game, but there will be little point. The reason this is so cool and so powerful is because there are new games coming out all the time, and if you're a channel that happens to follow a lot of trending games, you may be picking these games up early before anybody else, and then if you post them on your Steam page, people can find them when they're looking to see if they wanna buy the game. As you can see on the store page for Overcooked 2, the community hub is on the top right. And if we click on it, we see a ton of different videos from a ton of different content creators. All of this will help people make a decision on whether or not they wanna purchase this game. And of course, owners and fans of this game know exactly where to go when they're looking for some fresh content. And as you can see, these videos get views and interactions. People can leave likes, dislikes, comments, and even awards, similar to how Reddit works. So would I recommend this feature? Yeah, absolutely. There's honestly no downside to this at all. It's a place that you can post your content where you know people who enjoy this type of game are going to find it. But one thing to note is that you should honestly keep an eye on these videos once you've posted them on Steam because if people are leaving comments, you do want to interact with them just like you would on YouTube. I want to quickly say thank you to Alan for allowing me some time to hang out on his channel. Be sure to browse the channel a little bit. Alan gives all kinds of amazing YouTube advice all the time. So if you're looking to grow, you are in the right place. I will see you around. Catch you later.